who's gonna break the news? 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 It has officially happened. Ezekiel Elliott oh. has found a home with the New England Patriots. <laughs> One year okay. up to $6 million. Wow. Okay. That's, that's a lot, but I will bet you a lot of that's in, in incentives. Mm-hmm. And now the lifelong Jets fan is going to say something that's probably going to break Tank's brain on camera. Okay. I actually like this a lot. Really? Mm-hmm. Why? What have we said is the problem with New England? You they don't have throw. a ton of guys on the outside. Right. So what are you going to have to do? You're going to have to run. Ball. You're going to have to <clears throat> run the damn ball. You got to run it back into Ramondre Stevenson. What did he do in college? What was that? Pos- oh, he played fullback. Mm-hmm. That's not easy to game plan against. I, and you say I'm being three-dimensional chess. You say whatever you want to. Ezekiel Elliott is one of the he's one of the better pass pro running backs in the league. Just doing the gritty things that nobody talks about. Mm-hmm. I don't think he is a great running back at this point, but he's a great piece in that offense. I hated it with the Jets. The Jets have been talking about this for months. I hated it. I hated it with the Cincinnati Bengals. I have guys that can do that. Mm-hmm. New England, one of my best weapons is Ramondre Stevenson. I need somebody that allows him to be as multiple as humanly possible. There it is. Found it. So they'll be I, running a lot of eye I know everybody thinks that anytime New England does anything that I'm just going to beat it senseless and say, Bill, stupid. Oh, I get this one completely. And I, I, I'm i not going to lie to you. The, the more I've thought about it, the more I get it. Yep. I didn't understand how he got out of New England without them signing him. They've got a lot of young running backs. None of them do that one thing I really need them to do. I'm I'm going to draw a comparison, and it's going to be the weirdest comp you've ever heard in your life. Mac Jones, Justin Fields. Okay. They have completely different skill sets. Mm -hmm. They have an equal problem. They have a big weakness. you got to steer into it somehow, and this is a way to do that. Okay. So a lot of eye formations, a lot of two tight end sets. Which is what New England, New England was gonna, Patriots. Yeah. Which is what New England was gonna do anyway. Mm-hmm. Now you've just added another big body in the backfield. To you've added your a guy that can field. really run between the guards and do all of the the all of the things that you need to do in a Bill O'Brien, Bill Belichick offense. I think this is actually really smart. Do I think it changes anything in terms of wins and losses? Not really. Mm-mm. But it adds a dimension. Yep. And it's one of those things that, you know, it could keep you more competitive in the games that you're going to lose. But I don't know. He this said is- that, not me. I was being nice. I said all nice things. What? I, I, I'm, I'm not trying to be spicy. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm just saying it doesn't move the needle, like you said, as far as wins and losses. But... When it comes down to the end of the game, maybe it does add another wrinkle that I can get more out of my young quarterback. Uh, Bill Budacek said, don't hate it. Probably means Pierre Strong's getting ready to be working at the Wawa. Yep, that's about how I saw it, too. You're in the Sportsocracy, and this is ESPN Asheville.